Hey guys, welcome to Archland. We're here with YGG and we're going to do a build guide for you guys. For those who have pulled for her, um, congratulations. She is wonderful. I've, you know, I've um, tested her for the whole day yesterday and I've used her in PvP, I've used her in PvE and I'm so happy of my choice that i got her i'm gonna explain a lot during this build guide so uh by the way if you notice that i didn't pull for her in the video after that i was able to get her with a couple of pulls um which is offline so i'm sorry um i didn't you know you guys didn't see how i pulled for her but anyway we're here and we'll start off with her strengths so Obviously, she's a mage. She has magic attack as S, magic defense as S as well. So her only problem is going to be on the physical side. Okay, physical defense should be improved. Um, it has. She's rated B here, of course. Um, needs to be improved. If you can improve it through her runes and whatever means um, her, what they call this. But um, what I'm saying is it needs a lot of improvement okay so also for hp uh, she's a b here so again strength magic attack magic defense weakness would be hp and physical defense take note that she's a mage she's going to be she's going to be squishy especially with uh, melee units so melee um sorry physical damage which is uh, melee damage or range from your shooters so take note of that um going towards her unique passive here so this unique passive let me just uh, pull up something here so that i will have to reference this their translation is uh horrendous at this point so let me just pull up something. Okay, unique passive is increased damage by two, three, four, five percent for every unit within three tiles. Uh, caps at eight, nine, ten, and fifteen percent. At the end of action, grants nimble, which um, gives her a bit of uh, mobility and also allies within two tiles. Okay, so two, three three and four so if you have copies of her if you increase her rank then therefore she is going to extend that uh, range for cause and effect so this is nice to have because if you have warriors in front you definitely need them to move uh, nimbly if there's a if there's such a word so off to our next so this is her unique passive so again very very interesting very nice uh, and uh, hopefully um, again, you could maximize this one. So off to her traits. So as for her traits, we have here, um, I'm going to start with the top row, okay, for her traits. So, okay, so this one, um, skill, this one is skill damage and uh, damage reduction as your enemy dies if enemy is killed through the skill it reduces skill uh it reduces uh, skill cooldown by three nice to have but uh bear with me for a bit uh before i explain i don't know uh, when i explain everything next is going to be uh, increase in magic attack and magic defense when hp is below 90 percent so if uh, you know she's injured so attack increase and the uh, defense increase so that is the top row the bottom row however is going to have magic corrosion so magic corrosion is going to be magic defense minus 30 and um, the other one which is what i like about this skill is plus 30 percent crit rate buff this not only includes her but everybody around her Okay, this it's it has an area in which she projects the skill around herself. So this is a buff technically. So just to give you guys an idea, what I did is I got the bottom row. Obviously, you've seen it already, but priority is going to go to the bottom row because this skill is a must. I tell you, this skill is going to help her with her, you know, with her kit. 
is going to help her with Nola if the three of them are in, you know, if the two of them are in a team. You can actually use Nola's uh, leadership with other, with another one lighting, probably Richard. So again, that gives them a lot of critical, you know, critical rate um, increase. So this one, this skill is really a must. I tell you, you, you should bring that. This one, I'm also using this depending on um, depending on the situation. So the bottom row is a must. This one, not really. The 10% is nice, but although uh, it's a passive, but again, this one is better. This one gives it to everyone. And this one, although nice to have as well, the, 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 the skill uh, reset. Um, there is a better skill later. I'll, I'll show you in a while. So bottom row is for me is the priority. Then move to the middle row. So this one, this is the one that I'm using right now. So this one is deals 0 0.7 damage to enemies in range. The skill has a 10% 10 increased critical rate for every buff on self. Maximum of 30%. So this adds to the to her critical rate uh, in case she has a lot of buffs decrease the cooldown of the skill by one and gain rage for each critical hit dealt up to two cooldown decrease and up to two rage so deadly skill consume three anger to use the skill gain one anger if you deal damage to this to the target and when you take damage again this is a very very nice skill to complement her kit um we'll go back to her leadership in a while this one I don't really like. It's an AoE damage with a random teleport to an ally. So random is not good. You might teleport to a to somebody who has an enemy beside him. So this is not good. This one is also nice to start with. If you still if you don't have this skill, the the buff to all. This one is nice to have because uh, inflict damage and shock a uh, uh, chance to crit to be critically hit plus 20 percent so this is applied to an enemy okay so those are your options guys and let me take a look at the summary this one is what i'm referring to um instead of using this one you will actually learn how to use this one so this skill is nice because it deals damage to one target and it lets you swap basically lets you swap with a nearby target as long as it's within the area of reach of ygg so again this this adds to the mobility of your roster so the trick is move forward deal damage then swap with somebody who you want to you know to attack as well so very very nice combo you will be using this you'll be using this and you'll be using this so, so far, I like her kit. It's pretty, pretty impressive. Again, guys, uh, you can't go wrong with her. And she's a Thunder, by the way, which makes her crack Charlotte like an egg. I tell you. Um, leadership skill. Um, I've been using this. This is actually easy to, to, what they call this, to pull off. So, you obviously have a Priest and... I usually use Michael as a assassin or a ranger. Again, this is very, very nice to pull off. And additional magic defense increase. Um, increase damage if they have mobility. So aside from the 10%, the 10% uh, when, once you fulfill this, this one... Uh, you will what do you call this um, increase in physical and physical attack uh, magic attack physical defense magic defense to all allies it's gonna go through with the translation allies deal 10% increased damage when under nimble or a similar effect so if they're under nimble they gain another 10 so that's 20% my god so again very very nice uh, easy leadership to pull off and uh, what else do I have for you here Okay, so we're moving on to the rune here. So rune, um, okay, why I used uh, the wand or the staff 
It's because when using skill, damage dealt is an additional plus 10. Because if you're gonna crit, then additional damage won't hurt. When using an AoE skill, damage dealt is plus 15% instead. This one deals additional damage, which I like, which you really, really need from her. All out damage, I tell you, she will need it. Plus this one, the gladiator is a crit rate. You will need more crit rate for her. At this point, I already calculated for my YGG. I, I can give her a max of between 40% to 75% crit rate. That's not bad, right? So, again, it's nice to have um, a, a, a kit wherein she can deal a lot of damage and she can really crit. Okay, for her unique equipment, we have here um, plus 4 magic, plus 4 HP. So what active increase damage by 1% up to 3 for each buff on self. Um, okay, it's nice to have, but not really important. When there are 3 or more buffs affecting self, gain 1 skill range. If this is true, they actually put here a question mark. And what? So the skill range is actually still, it's very nice because mage again, they're very squishy. They need to be uh, far so that they can, you know, they can, you can maximize them dealing damage while they're, you know, moving around the battlefield for you. So again, the at this point, um, if you have her uh, unique weapon, it's nice or unique equipment, it's nice. Um, I think I'm 50-50 I'm in terms of if it's required or not. But again, the, the plus one skill range is really, really nice to have. Okay, so we're moving towards um, the hero experience. Okay, so here we are with uh, just a little bit of demo for the hero experience just in case you haven't seen my review on her. So basically what I'm saying is you can really, really... Uh, take advantage of the the pull because she can go away while this guy shields her and waits. So again, the yo-yo effect is really, really nice to have. As you can see there, and this is the last one. This is... Um, a decrease a, this is a, a skill cooldown reset so let us uh, do the skill here no not you so you first so that if you kill him the skill reset this is also nice to have but I don't think in her build this is still important so as you can see the skill resets and you can use it again for this guy. Okay, so there you go. That is how you use YGG. Very, very cunning. Very um, mobile mage. I don't think you'll have a problem using her. I mean, it takes a lot. Takes a little practice using her. And let's move on to my final thoughts. Okay, so final thoughts for YGG. Um, very versatile mage, better than Nola, I presume. Um, at this point, I give her an edge. Nola's kit, uh, in terms of crit rate, is kind of hard to pull off. Hers kind of simple, simpler, kind of. So, um, better than Nola in terms of mobility and everything. Um, I like how she's built. Um, certified Charlotte Killer, as I mentioned, if you... Ha having a problem with Charlotte in PvP, then she is definitely going to be your answer, especially though if you don't have Nola. But just be careful again, she is still a mage. Um, she cannot hold her own on the front line. Um, she will be tough to build, I, I admit that, but she is worth it in the end. So at this point, again, crit rate. The base crit rate. This is from from the this one, the stats, and plus the seven. So you're starting off with technically fifteen percent crit rate. So the seven is going to come from here, the the rune set. So that is it. 
So base 215, if you have an opportunity to raise your crit rate through through here, um, the stats, then be my guest, guys. Um, she will really need it to shine for you. So again, guys, that is it. Take care. Stay safe. This is the Warden. Before I go, um, put your comments down below on the build, if you like the build or not. And stay safe. Take care. Again, this is the Warden, and I'm out of here.